Hello again, welcome back to my channel. Today I've brought in these two yew trees. They're just young trees I bought a few years ago in, um, when I was kind of at the stage of practicing and working on bonsai at the start. And these are just two I bought at a garden center. I just threw a bit of wire on them and put them in, the, in pots and basically just neglected them from last year or two, a few years anyway. Um, this one I, I did repot last year and it's got a little bit of wire on it so I'll take the wire off that, give a bit of a pruning, cleaning up and stuff just to maybe start working on them as trees are just again more trees that when you have too many trees you just neglect them as you can see this one this one was at the back of my uh, benches so definitely got neglected this one so it needs weeding and I'm probably going to repot this one because you see the branch is quite yellow and is it getting too much water in here or a lot of or not enough water I'm not too sure so we'll look at that one in a minute and then the first thing I'll do is we'll I'll look at this one so I'm just going to take off the bit of wire that's on it I just kind of got these and to be honest never really did anything with them like that I just put a bit of wire on them to give them a bit of shape and pruned them back and never really did anything since might have done a little bit of pruning now and again but nothing really major to help them on their bonsai journey so I want to try and at least give them a chance because I think these are I think I think have one more you but these are the only two really that are much cop which could have potentially been nice bonsai one day um, bit of wire here sometimes it's easy to cut the wire other times <coughs> it's aluminium it's easier to unwind it now that these have got a bit of establishment in the branches I'll probably just use clip and grow now maybe might have to put a bit of wire on them now and again but the wire is just to give them their basic structure first give them a little bit of shape biting in down there so that was good that tree died it's a little bit of biting up at the top here I'm sure that'll fill out in no time not too bad okay I think that's all the wire off oh, there's a little bit on this branch here Let's take that bit off too I didn't make any videos yesterday because I'm sorting out my water because I've built new benches now and this year I want to try and do all my watering with a watering can using rainwater or a pump rather than tap water so I have two water butts collecting water down by the house but it's a bit of a pain when you have to fill the watering can from them and then carry it up the bank and to the back of the garden and water it back up and forward and, and I tend to just <coughs> get lazy then and use the watering can and use the tap so I bought another water bottle it's more also I had to fill them using the tap at the bottom of the, wa of the water bottle which 
tended to take a long time to fill and when you've working and you were over 300 trees to water it's not practical to be trying to fill a watering can and go up and down up and down in the summer every day it's nearly a full-time job so I um, I bought another water butt which is more like a giant bin as with like the old plastic bins with a lid and I've cut the lid a hole in the lid and I put some mesh and some filter stuff on it over the hole so it collects any bits before it goes into the into it and I have put it under my shelf one of my shelves so that when I water the trees or when the rain comes I have covered the shelf in a waterproof material so that water will run down the shelf and pour into that water but as well as collecting rainwater so that's that and also <coughs> I can still keep the other two going from the from the house and stuff but now I can pump them pump the water from them up to the other one and just fill the other one and it doesn't have a tap on it I can it has a big enough top that I can just dunk the water and can straight in to fill it and out so it doesn't take 10 minutes to fill the water and can every time okay so I'm just having a little look at this tree now I'm just cleaning out any branches that are coming out the bases of the trees this tree's like, it's not great. There's a lot of growing to do. But we start doing a little bit of encouragement now. Maybe we can do something with it in the future. Just looking this branch back here could do with being reduced a bit. Quite a few branches coming out the same place here, so take out a couple of them. One up there we can take out. I think we'll take that main main one back like that. I'm just gonna give them a light pruning for now, clear out all the little stubs and stuff, and then because like they've not been the healthiest of trees. So I'm just gonna leave them grow for a while. I don't know a ton about use to be honest. I'll have to uh, do a bit of research before I do go crazy on them because like that I've never really bothered with them much so I've never really looked them up or anything but I will definitely do a bit of research before I go crazy trimming and stuff in case I'm doing the wrong thing I'll uh, have a look at one of my books read up on them and see okay I'll do for that one for now, like that. I'll do my research if it tells me now it's time to prune and stuff hard, then I'll come back and do that. But if not, that one I'll do for now. I'm mainly looking to repot this second one. As you can see, it's in a bad way. It's not a great tree, a bit ugly, but since we have it, might as well give it a chance. You see the wire is probably bitten in a lot more on this one now because I didn't repot it last year. So I'll just cut all that wire out, get rid of it. Like that, I will probably just do clip and grow now with these. 
Now they're at this stage. Again, we'll just clean out the crotches here a bit. Might leave these ones because we might end up eventually taking this off. There's lots coming out of this here. And this one, this doesn't have to be the front of the tree, I would say. Have a bud there, so I'm going to take that off, try and get this scroll that way a bit more. Oh, that's me pump now, because I'm pumping all the water up from my, my butts down here up to the top one, so I can hear the pump is emptied, so I'll just stop that. Okay, so that's my uh, big barrel is full, it holds 160 litres, so a bit bigger than the other two. Just keep um I can use it away now when I need to. I've been needing it for a while anyway, because the way the rain is at the moment, continuous. But when the time comes, I'll take all these off here. At least I'll have water up where I need it. And like that, I can just not liking this tree at all. Yeah, I can um, just use it away now up above, and then if I if it runs out, then I can just it's simple enough to just pump the water up down from the other two because the other two will keep filling. One fills from my shed roof, <coughs> and the other one fills from my. Uh, a large shelf that I built with, the bon with bonsai on it. So when I water from it, all the water goes through the bonsai and back into the pot again. Mm, I don't know about this tree. Not liking it. I'll take that whole top off. Maybe when we've You've got three branches here, I'm trying to decide which one I do at once. You know what, I'm going to take the whole top one off. I'll just leave it like that. Take that one off, we get that branch screw there, we can take that one out. Branch is a bit strong. Hmm. Not a great tree this one, but look, it is what it is. We'll just repot it. Maybe it'll grow on stronger, and if it grows on stronger, it might fill out better and start looking a bit better. If I had more, I'd probably just put this one in the garden. In fact, I could actually do that, just put this one in the garden. I have more room in my garden now than I do on the benches. So maybe this could be put in the garden for a while to grow on for a year or two. in the pot. Oh, there you go. Yeah, it's pretty waterlogged. So even though I'm going to put it in the garden, 
I think I'll still rig off the top a bit. Yeah, it's in kind of crappy soil. Screw on for the future. I can't remember, do I have a couple in the garden or not? It's just overcrowded with trees. But every now and again I just switch some out like I did this year. Take some out, put some new ones in. It'd be great to have a bit more land to put more trees in the ground, but when you don't have it you gotta to decide to keep some in the ground and some out. And get rid of this liver wart off the top of it anyway before I put it in. Even the, the trunk and everything doesn't look great on it. So we'll stick it in the ground and maybe in a few years time we'll come back and dig it out and might have developed into something half decent. Okay, so we'll leave that one and I'll go and put that in the garden. Right, I'll put that out the way for now then. So, this is not a bad one, we'll give it a little bit of a weeding. Has a little bit of better structure than the other one. Looks like it needs a bit of feeding and stuff, but like I said, I want to do a bit of research on them, find out what the story is about pruning them and stuff, so that's about it. I'll just show you the water thing that I've set up. So I have this one here which comes off my shed roof, this fills and then I can connect the hose to the top, it has a water pump in it and then I have one on this side which here I have a shelf which I have trees on most times there's none at the moment only a few little bits and then the water runs down I've silt tilted the shelf and the water runs down it goes through this filter of stuff and into the barrel and then again I can pump it out and they have taps at the bottom and then but then I've got to fill them up with a water can and carry them all up here every one now I have this big barrel I bought and then I have this shelf which I covered. It's only a small shelf, but I've covered it in waterproof material. I've got the trees on it so when the rain comes, runs down and drips off there. And then into this filter. You can see now how much muck because I was just pumping the barrel into it. But then when it fills up, it goes through there, through that, through that bit of mesh into the barrel below. And then I can just I'll put a couple of elastics on it, so I can just take the elastic off and you can see it's full to the brim now. And I can just use my watering can then to give it water, but as you can see, don't need any watering now. Absolutely bucketing down again today. At the moment it's just spitting, but just enough to keep everything well wet. Okay, so that's another video done and dusted so back into my shed so again if you uh, like the video please give it a thumbs up subscribe thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one